Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on our series of going from zero to hero in cadence development. It is your host Jacob Tucker here again. Um, I've gotten a little bored um, in my life and so I've decided to throw on some sunglasses here. Maybe it'll spice things up, make my explanations even better. But here we are um, and in this video we're going to go over private capabilities. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So in a previous uh, video, I was going over um, capabilities. I was also going over what account storage is. Um, I'm going to link that in the description um, if you would like to see a video on like an introduction to capabilities and, and account storage and all that. Um, and in that video, we actually saw this diagram. Um, and so if you're a little confused by you know the next uh, couple uh, minutes here, I'm going to do a little overview. But if you want to see more of that, please watch the account storage video. So as we know, in accounts, um, there is some contract code. That's all extra. Um, that's in for a separate video. Um, and then it, there's also this thing called account storage. And so account storage has three main things in it that, that you want to know. Um, there's a slash storage path, and that is where we store stuff. Um, only our only us who, you know, if we own an account, only the owner of an account can ever go to storage. We already went over this. Um, and we've been storing NFTs here and NFT collections and all that kind of fun stuff. Then there's something called a public path. Um, and so here is where all the public stuff is. And so here, um, anyone out there can access stuff from our account. So if, um, you know, if I have an account and then uh, my friend Bob wants to access my account, Bob can read anything that I've put to public. But I have to explicitly put things in the public path in order for Bob to see them. But once I do that, then he can do whatever um, is specified there. And then there's a third one, which we are going to be going over in this video, which is the private path. And so this is where private capabilities come into play. Um, and so this is uh, going to be the topic for this video. So private um, is usually used to give certain people access to our um, account storage. So in normal account storage, um, no one can access it except the owner. In public, everyone can access it. Um, and so private is really dealing with the middle ground there. So how do we give certain people access but not other people? And so that's what we're going to see today. And that's done through something called capabilities. Um, so as, as I mentioned in, in before, um, public and private are both done through something called capabilities. So what I've done is I've created a sample uh, project here. Um, this is a contract called example. Um, and in this contract, we have one resource called uh, profile. This has a name and an email on it. Um, and we're going to be doing some cool stuff with that. There's also an empty admin resource that we're going to worry about later in the video. Um, and then there is a function that um, takes in a name and an email and creates a new profile resource. So if you're confused by any of the syntax, make sure to watch the previous videos in our um, series. Um, and then we've also stored an admin to account storage, but we're not going to worry about admin until later in the video. So as long as you understand this profile part and this create profile function, you're good to go. So let's deploy this to the blockchain. Um, and ooh, it looks like Flow has actually added a cool little pop-up. I like that. Good updates, uh, Flow team. <laughs> I'm just seeing that now for the first time. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a transaction, and we're actually going to get a profile for a certain account. So let's just use account two, um, which is, uh, oh, yeah, so we're going to use account two. Okay, so then what we're going to do is uh, we're importing example, and we're going to do account.save. So this is all from the account storage video, right? We're, we're storing things to account storage. Um, this is going to store a create profile. We're passing in a name with Jacob and an email. I'm cool at AOL.com. Fun fact, my first email ever was AOL, so I will always love it. Um, and we're storing it to slash storage slash profile. The next thing we're doing is we're doing a public, we're, we're publicly linking this so that anyone can look at our profile. So we're linking um, the reference to example.profile, which exists at our storage uh, path. So that's our target. And we're going to link this to the public. So this is, this is simply public capability, so nothing new so far. And we're not going to do anything yet for private. So let's just see what this would, would be like, right? And let's at the end here, let's log um, created a new profile and linked it to the, uh, to the public, okay? Let's do that, and let's run this for account two, and we can see, hey, we, oh, look at that, more pop-ups, all right, flow team, um, created a new profile and linked it to the public. So what we can do is we actually go down to a script down here, which I've also prepared, holy, I am so prepared today, it's, it's unreal, I think it's the, I think it's the glasses. Um, so we're importing example, um, and remember, this is nothing new, this is all just public capabilities. 
we're going to get an account address. We're going to get the capability. So this is slash public slash profile public. And remember, we just did that here. We linked it to slash public slash profile public. Um, and we're going to borrow uh, the example.profile and then panic if we can't. And we're going to log the name. So let's pass an account too, because that's the account we just got the profile for. Let's execute this. It says Jacob. If you uh, you can read this down here, it says Jacob. If you can't read it, just trust me. And we're also going to now try to change this to email and see if we can log the email. So account 02, execute this, and it gives Amco at AOL.com. Cool. Now, what if we wanted to restrict profile a little bit more, right? So what if we actually wanted to say, hey, we only want the public to be able to read name but not our email. Well, how do we do that? Well, if you've watched the previous videos, you would know that this is the uh, public resource interface. Um, let's just say profile public. Let's open this up. And let's just put public let name in here. Um, and so what this is gonna say is, hey, our profile has to abide by the profile public um, interface, um, which it does already. But what we can do is we can use this interface to restrict our public capability so that people can only read our name. So let's actually redeploy this. Let's go back to create profile. And here where we create a public capability, let's instead do example.profile public. So this means that everyone from the, uh, oh, we have to refresh the page, I hope. All right, we live another day. Let's go. So we are restricting this to example that profile public. So this means that everyone who's reading our profile from a public path will only be able to read our name. Let's send this again. Let's go back to our read profile and let's go and log our name again. And so remember, we have to change this now because we're borrowing from the public path. And so this is going to be example dot profile public. OK, because that's what we have linked to the public. So what we can do is try and log the name, right? So account 02, let's execute this. It gives to Jacob. But what's going to happen when we try and log email, right? Not, It won't work. It says it's restricted. And that's because of the fact that it's restricted to this uh, interface. Now, you might say, Jacob, why don't you just delete that? Let's hack the whole system. I'm hacking the blockchain. I am doing it. I'm the best ever, right? And we can just log our email. Hee <laughs> hee, we've done it. Um, well, if we actually type in account 02, you'll see it's going to panic the borrowing, right? Panics because we're not allowed to do that. We didn't link this to the public. We linked uh, this to the public, right? Okay, so this was an overview of public capabilities. And so um, sorry for boring you if you're bored, but now we're going to dive into public capabilities. And, and the reason I was showing you that was to show you why private capabilities are so useful in the first place. Um, so... If you are bored, you can hit on me in the comments, but um, I will stick by my teaching abilities. Okay, so let's just say that account 02, instead of just linking it to the public, account 02 also wanted to make a private capability. So they're gonna say, hey, I wanna give this to certain people, but to those certain people, I want them to also be able to read my email. So what we can say is account.link, it's the same syntax, um, at example.profile. We're not going to restrict it to, to the profile public. We're just going to link the whole thing. And we're going to link this to slash private slash profile private. All right. And the target um, is the storage path as always. So this is, a cap this is linking a capability just like it is publicly, right? So when we do this, we make a capability. When we do this, we also make a capability. The difference is that it's the private path now. So let's actually um, redeploy our contract so that all of our state gets reset. Let's go back into create profile. And let's actually run this transaction um, from account 02. So bam, we've created a new uh, profile and linked it to the public. Um, and I should also probably have said and private, right? Um, but you, you get the point. All right, so let's try and read this um, private capability from a different account, right? So let's go to this one and let's try and borrow the private capability. So let's just say um, account three uh, wants to hack into account two. Let's say um, let, um, cap let um, the profile equals get account, um, account uh, 02, right? Let's try to get 02s. And let's say dot get capability slash private slash profile um, uh, private, right? That's what we named it. And we're going to then dot borrow, um, dot borrow example 
dot profile, uh, put a little parentheses and say panic. Um, you do not have permission. Boom. Right. Okay. So you do not have permission. Now it's going to actually give us an error. Uh, oh wait, no. So we have to put the reference here. Okay. So you'll notice that actually it's going to give us a reference. It's going to give us an error up front. It's not going to let us borrow this capability, and it's saying mismatch types expected public path got private path. And so the reason for that is because you can only call get capability on a private path if you have a um, auth account. But what is this, right? So so this right here, this is an auth account. Get account though returns a public account. So um, I'll just write that up here. So get account of some ad of some address actually returns something called a public um, account. So we can only call, but we can only call a get capability with a private path on a auth account. So this will never work. So it's impossible to hack into a private capability. So I just wanted to to show that to you. But let's say that actually we just uh, we put in an auth account now, right? Um, and let's say you know uh, private the profile private, um, borrow it, and says do not permission. And then over here we are going to log um, profile dot uh, name. And we will also log profile.email. So we're going to call this from account uh, two because that's the account that we've actually stored it in. And if we clear this and send it, we will see that it logs my name and also my email. Now, of course, if we were to run this from a different account, um, this wouldn't work because those accounts don't have a, a, a capability, right? So it's not even that they don't have permission, it's that like you don't even have this capability. So that's 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 a more correct um, error message. So we clear this and, and send this again, right? They don't even have it. So this would this would never work. Okay. Now, so that's um, you know one thing. But how do we actually give this private capability to other people? Um, so let's go back to um, our admin. So this is the point of the admin. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show an example of actually storing a private capability in the contract, which is. Um, from experience, you know, mostly what you do with private capabilities. Usually what you do is you take your private capability and pass it to other things inside the contract, like a resource or even at the top level, like up here. Um, but most of the time you're going to be storing it inside an admin. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to do public let um, a profile. And we're going to, this is going to be a capability to a profile. Now, what we can do is uh, pass in that here. So we can say um, the profile is going to be a capability to a profile. And then self.profile equals that profile we passed in. So um, this is all cool. Now, we actually can't do this. Any, we actually, I'm realizing we can't do that. We're going to have to actually make a function, public function, um, to uh, create admin. This is going to return an admin resource. And then we're going to return a new admin. And the profile is going to be um, profile, which I will define right here. And I'm just going to copy and paste this to, to save time. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to create an admin. And that admin can actually read um, a profile that, that, that someone um, passes in. OK? So this is all cool. So if we redeploy this, um, you know, we now have an admin resource, and this admin resource can actually take in a capability to a profile, um, you know, and this is a full profile. So for example, we couldn't just pass in a public capability, right? Because capability doesn't mean private. This could be public, but the fact that it's a reference to a profile means it can't be this public one, right? Because this is a profile with that's restricted to profile public. So it'll have to be this private one that we pass in here. Okay, cool. So what we can do is we can also, um, you know, for example, just say account dot save, and we'll just create a new admin, create admin, um, and what we're going to do in here in order to create the admin slash storage slash admin, in order to actually create the admin, we have to pass in a, a capability to our our, our private um thing, right? So if we wanted to do this, uh, in, if we wanted to pass in our thing, we actually have to get the capability. So let the private capability equals something. And so we have to actually get the capability here to pass into our admin. So let's do that right now. So let us say um, account, or this could even be, I'll just do a get account because in this example, it could be a public account. So get account, um, account.address. 
Um, and then we're going to say dot get capability to slash private. Actually, no, sorry, that's wrong, right? You can't do that um, because it, remember, private has to be on an auth account. So account dot get capability to slash private slash, um, what do we name it? Profile private. And then we can do dot borrow. And what we're borrowing is a example.profile. So I'll just copy and paste this one. And then I will say um, panic, uh, you cannot borrow the private profile. Uh, but this should always work, right? Because we're, we're making it private right here, and then we're just immediately borrowing it as a capability. And so what we can do is we can actually say, hey, the profile we're passing in is this private capability. And so everything is good. Um, and so this has to actually be, um, oh, sorry. This has to be uh, create admin. Um, and this is example dot create admin. Okay, and if we refresh the page, it should be good to go. And all right. So let's see. Oh. Now here's here's what I wanted to bring up. So I wanted to uh, make this mistake on purpose. I'm lying, but because I'm actually stupid, but I'm trying to make it seem like I'm smart. So um, what's going on here is that, but I'm glad that we ran into this error. So what's going on here? It's saying, hey, we expected a capability to a reference to, uh, of a profile, but we got a reference to a profile. So so what's going on here, right? It's actually expecting a capability. But for some reason, it's telling us that we're passing a reference. Why is that? Well, it's because we borrowed the capability. So it's no longer a capability, it's the actual thing. So in order to fix that, we actually just have to get rid of borrowing because, um, you know, the, the, and also this panic because we're, we're not borrowing, so it's, it can't panic. Um, and so that will get rid of um, that error. Um, and of course, you know, we actually have to move that syntax up here now because, you know, we still have to tell it what capability we're getting. Um, it's just that we're not actually borrowing because if we borrow, we get the actual thing. And so now um, we actually have a capability. So we're, we're, we're looking at the account, which is an auth account. We're getting a capability to a private path and we can pass that in here. So we are good to go. So let's run this for account two. Let's send this um, and we sent it. All right. So now what we can do is what was the whole point of this, right? The whole point of this was that we wanted to store our private capability somewhere. Um, and so now we can actually read um, our name and email. So if we go to admin read, um, I already set this up. So this is going to be um, get, uh, borrowing our admin from storage. I'm, I am so prepared. It's awesome. Um, and then we can actually do log admin dot. Um, and let's look at this. So this is a, a work we call it profile. So admin dot profile dot borrow because we actually have to borrow the capability. Right, so dot borrow dot name. All right, so let's see if we can log this. And if I am smart enough, then this will work. And oh my God, it worked! Wow, that is that is amazing. So what we did was we said we got the admin, which is the admin resource. We said dot profile, which is a capability to a profile. We then borrowed the profile. And the reason I put this exclamation mark is because remember borrowing returns like an optional, which is why we usually put like panic or or this force unwrap. If we had put this, it says, hey, you know, name is not a value of, of an optional, right? Add example question mark. So we just unwrap that optional and then we do dot name. And then if we wanted to also do the email, we could do email and we can send this as well and it returns our email. Now, this is sort of like a, a, a contrived example. Um, because of the fact that like, you know, we're not actually giving this permission to other people. Uh, in this case, I just created an admin and that was just, you know, it's the same account, but you can imagine that you could actually pass this capability to other people as well, right? So using this example, if you link your capability to a private path and then you yourself get that private capability, right? No one else can get this except for you because it's an auth account. And then you take that capability and you pass it to other places. You can do all sorts of fun stuff with this. You know, you can give it to someone's collection. You can give it to someone's resource. You could even pass it into the contract. Um, in this example, we just gave it to ourselves since we're like the admin also. But you you get the point. So that is private capabilities and also the difference between public capabilities and private capabilities. So I really hope that this video helped. I hope you enjoyed the glasses sunglasses and uh, I will see you in the next video.